Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to see about place values in class 2 under the concept numbers. Let us take a quick look at the learning outcome in class 2 under the concept numbers. The learning outcomes are place value concepts, 100 to 200 numbers and a few activities under that, comparing numbers, and odd and even numbers and also ordinal numbers. Did you notice that we will be dealing only with 100 to 200 numbers? Actually in class 2 we will be dealing with 3 digit numbers but even in the learning outcome video I had explained that we will be splitting up it into two phases that is in the first phase we will be dealing with 100 to 200 numbers and in the second phase we will be dealing with numbers beyond 200 up to 1000. So in this video, we will be seeing place value concepts for the numbers 100 to 200. Before going into a 3 digit number, let us revise the place value concept of a 2 digit number. Here let us consider the number 4, 5, 45. 5 represents the 1's place and 4 is in the 10's place. How do you represent 4 tens? That is nothing but 4 group of tens. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is the first group. Similarly, we have 4 group of tens representing 40. How do you represent 5 ones? So we have 5 sticks over here representing 5 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So how do you read this number? It is 4 tens and 5 ones which is equal to 45. There is another way you can write this. It is nothing but 4 zero 40, 4 tens is 40 plus 5 ones which is 5 which is equal to 45. Next let us see how to represent this number 45 in an abacus. So what is an abacus? Abacus is a wonderful mathematical tool to help students understand place value concepts. It has two spikes representing ones and tens. This is for a two digit number. When it is three digit number, we will have three spikes representing the next place value. Now let us see for a two digit number. There will be two spikes, one, the first layer representing the ones from number 0 to 9 and the second layer represents the tens representing numbers from 0 to 90. Now, how to write this two digit number 4545 on an abacus? Here in the tens place, we have the number 4. So how do you represent it? Write the number 4 here. And in the backers, there will be four beads representing the four tens. So one, two, three, four. This represents the number 40. Four tens is 40. Each of them takes a value of 10. So this is 10, 20, 30 and 40. Next let us see how to represent the number 5 in the one spike. So, write the number 5 here and there will be 5 beads or balls in the 1 spike. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, this is how a number is represented on an abacus. This is nothing but 4 tens represented by 4 beads and 5 ones represented with 5 beads. Now, let us do the same activity for another 2 digit number. The number here is 6363. So, in the tens place, we have the number 6. So, write the number 6 in the tens spike and draw 6 beads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this represents the six tens. 
And in the ones place, we have the number 3. So, let us do the ones place. Write the number 3. And now, you will draw 3 balls over here in the ones place. So, this is how the number 63 is represented in Abacus. Now, let us move on to a 3 digit number. 100, 100 zero zero is the smallest 3 digit number. And here, the ones place is taken by the number 0. The next 0 is in the tens place. And number 1 is in the new place value. Hundreds place. We know that based on the place values, 7 tens means 70, 8 tens means 80, 9 tens means 90. Then what is 100? 10 tens means 100. Now let us see how to represent 100 or 10 tens. So in 100, we have 100. 0 tens and 0 ones. Let us see how to represent this 100 or 10 tens. So here we have the first 10 over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is your first 10. We need 10 tens to represent 100. So this is the second 10, this is the third 10, fourth 10, fifth, sixth. 7, 8, 9th and this is the 10th 10. So we have 10 tens representing 100. As zeros do not have any value, we cannot represent it here. But zero is a very important concept and the concept of zero will be dealt in a separate video. Now let us see how to represent the number 100 in an abacus. So now this abacus will have three spikes. The first one will be for the ones, the second is for tens and the third is for the new place value hundreds. So in hundred we have one hundred, zero tens and zero ones. How do you represent that in abacus? So write the number one over here and you will have one be in the hundreds place. And in the tens and ones place, there will be no beads. This is how 100 is represented in an abacus. Let us do this activity for another 3 digit number. 1, 4, 3. 143. Here, 3 is in the ones place. 4 is in the tens place. And 1 is in the hundreds place. Before going into Abacus, let us see how to represent the number 143. So, as we saw, 100 is equal to 10 tens. So, this is how 100 is represented. Next, we need 4 tens. It is represented like this. This is your first group of 10. This is the second, third and fourth. So, we have 4 groups of 10s to represent the number 40. Next, 3 ones is represented like this. Now, let us go on to see how to write the number name. So, we saw in number 1, 4, 3, 1 is in the hundreds place, 4 is in the tens place and 3 is in the ones place. Which means, it is 100, 4 tens is 40, and 3 ones is 3. So how do you read the number name? 143. We have learnt about writing in expanded form in two ways in class 1. So for a 2 digit number we did that. Now let us see how to do that for a 3 digit number. One way of writing this is 100 plus 4 tens plus 3 ones which gives you the number 143 or 143. The other way of writing this is 100 is nothing but 100, 4 tens is 40, and 3 ones is 3, which is 100 plus 40 plus 3 gives you 143. 
Wait, did you notice there is a hyphen between 40 and 3? It is very important to hyphenate the number names appropriately. All compound numbers from 21 to 99 should be hyphenated in their number names, which means 21, 22, 43, 82. All these number names up to 99 should have a hyphen in between them, except for the numbers 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90. These are all single number names. But other numbers from 21 to 99, they have two names in them. That is, they are called as compound numbers with two number names in them. So, it is very important to hyphenate them. I will show you with an example why it is important to do so. Now, look at these two statements and tell me which of the following is correct. There are 24 hours in a day. There are 24 hours in a day. These two statements mean totally different meaning. When you hyphenate it, it means that there are 24 hours. When you don't hyphenate it, it means there are 24 hours in a day, which becomes wrong. So that is why I told you it is very important to hyphenate number names appropriately. Now, let us represent the three digit number in the abacus. The number is 143. 1 is in the hundreds place, 4 is in the tens place and 3 is in the ones place. So how do you do that? You put the 1 in the hundreds spike and draw a single bead. Next, put the 4 in the tens spike and represent it with 4 beads. 2, 3, 4. Then 3 in the ones spike and represent it with 3 beads. 1, 2 and 3. So, this is how a three-digit number is represented in an abacus. Let us do these activities quickly for one more three-digit number. Consider the number 125, 125. So, here 5 is in the 1's place, 2 in the 10's place and 1 is in the 100's place. So, how do you represent 100? It is 10 10's. So, we have 100 represented like this. We have two tens, that is two group of tens and five ones. So, let us see how to write the number name for this three digit number. It is 125. Notice the hyphen in between the number name 25. And the first way of writing the expanded form is 100 plus two tens plus five ones makes 125. The other way of doing it is 100 is 1 0 0 100 plus 2 tens is 20 and 5 ones is 5 which makes 125. Next, how do you represent the number 125 in a backers? There's nothing but 100 with 1 bead, 2 tens with 2 beads and 5 ones is represented with 5 beads. Now, let us go in for some question and answer session. Write the number shown in the abacus. So this is the abacus given and we will have to write the numbers. Shall we do that? So we have 100. How many tens? 5 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tens. And 4 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4. So what does this make? 154. The next type of questioning could be show the numbers on the abacus. You could give the numbers and make the children draw the beads. What will be the answer? You will have one bead in hundreds place, one bead in the tens place and six beads in the ones place. What number does that make? 116. For the place value concepts, I have included several interesting questions in the part 2 of this video. The link to the same are provided below in the description box. Please click the subscribe button and bell button for regular updates. Like, share and comment in the comment section. See you in my next session. Thank you.